my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Indy Alexis, and if you can't tell from the title, your girl is going to Hawaii. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm literally so excited. Hold on, it's probably one of my friends. Oh lord, okay, I gotta go. So let me make this quick. But, um, your girl is going to Hawaii for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys along for the shenanigans. Um, I'm going from Raleigh to LAX and then LAX to Honolulu. Um, if it was a straight flight, it would have been 12 hours. And honestly, that's too much. I literally would have thrown up in the sky. <laughs> So I'm glad we have a layover in um, Los Angeles. But like I said, let me show you guys what I'm wearing really quick before I head out because I gotta go to the airport. Well, I have to drive to Raleigh and then go to the airport. But I'm just wearing this um, neutral fit. I honestly feel like I'm part of Kanye's Sunday service choir <laughs> because I'm wearing all these like neutral drab colors. But anyway, wearing this hoodie from, well, sweatshirt from Pretty Little Thing. These men H&M shorts. Um, just wanted to be comfortable. Let me tuck that because that looks ratchet. And then uh, my Yeezys. And then I'm just carrying my luggage back here. So, yeah, your girl is heading out to Hawaii. So I'm going to see you guys when I get to the airport. Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone. I have to be playing at LAX with my dream in my card again. We gotta lay over for eight hours. Where are we going, Papa Squats? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we just got to LA. Um, and we have a layover for eight hours. So it's 12 o'clock here and we leave at 8 a.m. So we're trying to find a place to just sleep because I'm tired. And I need to find a blanket and a, a neck pillow because that was a very uncomfortable flight. I was freezing. So yeah, we're in LA. One hour later, two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. They all honestly were kind of the same price, but we're like, if we want to drive around and see the terrain of Hawaii, might as well get a convertible. Um, does it open? Does the trunk open? Did you get the key out the car? <laughs> oh, well, this is about to be a long trip. <laughs> but yeah, we just got our convertible and about to head to the, the hotel. It's been such a long day. Honestly, my brain is kind of fried, so. Mind you, but we're not going to sleep. It's only 10 o'clock here, so. Out trigger. It's Beachcomber Out Trigger by Waikiki, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't this take is, me this nowhere. Is, this one. Huh? It's called Waikiki Beachcomber. By Out Trigger. Yeah. So we're headed to the hotel. I'm going to give you guys a tour when we get to the hotel and. Yeah. <laughs> all right just got to the hotel it's so beautiful in here let me give you guys a little tori tour so when you first walk in oh yeah by the way um we're staying at the waikiki beachcomber by out trigger i'll like put the name on the screen this hotel is really nice and it's like right on the strip there was like a mall waikiki beach is right over there i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like but when you first walk into the room this to the left the left is the bathroom and there's like a big coat closet here so this is nice i really think this bathroom is um like fairly new because this is so gorgeous like yeah this is really nice and it was cheap on expedia too so if you're coming to hawaii check it out <laughs> and then this is the bathroom i'm pretty sure it's like a walk-in shower right here and then just the toilet 
But yeah, this is the bathroom. What it looks like over here. Oh my god, I've had these clothes on since yesterday. There's a mirror right here. And then when you come to the room, this is what it looks like. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Um, this beautiful backsplash on the wallpaper. And yeah, it's really spacious. Just for two people. And the nice balcony. And then if you go out on the balcony, how do you see this? Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is basically the strip out here that we're right on. We're facing the ocean. So, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. And funny thing, funny thing, we've been awake since yesterday. We left Raleigh at 8 p.m. And we just got here and it's 10 a.m. here. It's six hours behind Eastern Standard Time. So we're running on no sleep. But bus club, another club. Bus club, another club. <laughs> we're not sleeping. So we're about to get dressed and then head over to the beach over there. So I'm going to catch you guys when we go over to the beach. Uh, but anyway, we just got to Waikiki see, Beach. It is. You're dragging it. <laughs> I'm not dragging it. I'm telling you, I'm tripping. I've never seen shit like this. <laughs> it is this one. hot. Oh, I guess. What is that? In Fahrenheit? That's in Celsius. Do we? Celsius? Yes. We do Fahrenheit in America? I don't know, but yeah, anyway. You guys do Fahrenheit in America. Okay, That's anyway. Like it is burning. What we're talking about, it's burning up out here. We have to buy one of these little umbrella things because it's just so hot out here but we're at Waikiki Beach Waikiki Beach I don't know what I just said it's absolutely beautiful the water is actually fairly clear I don't know if you guys can see over there but it's giving clear skies we're about to head to the beach because because it's really hot and I'm sweating and we just we just walked out of here you ready yeah, you want to get in? Yeah, let's go. Just leaving the beach and on our way back to the hotel, there's this place called the International Marketplace. I don't know if this is like, sorry, there's street performers singing. So if you hear some music, you know what's going on, but this place called International Marketplace we are right now. It's just like a whole bunch of random stores. There's Sephora in here. Just like an outdoor mall. Um, there's a Saks Fifth Avenue over there. MCM. Like a Rolex store. Girl, please. <laughs> People are crazy here. <laughs> there's some lady singing on the street and there's some lady was mocking her back there. But anyway, um, we're about to head back to the hotel because like I said, we're running on no energy so I need to take a shower maybe take a nap for a little bit and then go to dinner we don't know where we're gonna go to dinner but there's just like so much stuff on our street I don't know what street this is but I'm gonna update you guys later on what street it is um, we're gonna find somewhere to go to dinner and I told him we're not going to any chain restaurants we're out here I want to try authentic Hawaiian cuisine I don't want to try because um, I know there's a cheesecake factory right across from our hotel and then like a red lobster too but like what did I come to Hawaii for if I'm not going to try real authentic food you know what I mean it's a lot of like Asian cuisine out here because it's like right next to Japan but yeah see you guys in a little bit detour on the way back to the hotel we spotted this marketplace it's called Duke's Waikiki Marketplace I think they have like Maybe semi authentic Hawaiian treasures. This is cute. Really, really cute. You want any, um, like, what's it called? Souvenirs? Why do they have a drum? And more jewelry over here. Selection is huge. So much jade and opal and ruby, emerald. Ooh. 
honestly, this place just keeps on going and going and going and going. Like, bruh. And all this stuff is so nice. Like, I just got a, a jade necklace. Because I've been wanting one for a while. And this is authentic. And I bartered it down. Maybe like 60% off. So, that's good. But, he's just getting some, some earrings. Um, but yeah. This is called Duke's, um, Duke's Marketplace. And yeah, there's so much nice stuff in here. So you have to check it out if you're coming to Hawaii. He's over here trying to barter um, some $300 earrings down to $20. <laughs> What'd you offer? What did you offer? 50. <laughs> it's time to go. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> I feel like I ended the vlog, it was all over the place kind of yesterday because we got here and just was moving, 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 moving. But yesterday we got here, we went to the beach, then went to that marketplace and we left the marketplace around like six o'clock. We had a dinner reservation at 8 p.m. yesterday, but we didn't end up waking up until 2 a.m. We came back to take a quick little nap. We were like, oh, we'll be up in an hour. No, we didn't have to wake up until 2 a.m. because we were just that exhausted. So it's a new day. We're about to start fresh. Um, we've been up since 3 a.m. because the time difference, um, Eastern Standard Time and Hawaiian Standard Time, I think it's called, is six hours. So our bodies are just still adjusting to this. Um, but we've been up since 3 a.m. this morning. It's now like 5.30. The sun is just coming up, so I came outside to take this video. I also need to film some content for Aerie. Um, on this balcony right now, so about to do that, um, and then we're gonna go on a hike this morning at about 6 a.m. There's two um, trails here that are kind of popular. Um, we looked it up; it was like Diamond Head Trail or Cocoa Crater Trail, and they're both just like old um, volcanoes that are inactive. So we want to hike up there this morning before it gets too hot, um, and then we're gonna go to brunch, and then we have a boat party later today. So. It's a jam-packed day full of activities, and I'm gonna take you guys along for a ride. I'm so excited. But let me get this content out of the way for Aerie, and then we're gonna head out to Coco Crater Trail. So I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. So we just got to Coco Crater Trail. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. It's 1.6 miles round trip, so that's not too bad, but I heard it's really steep. Oh my God, stop, shut up. We just started, <laughs> but this is the, the crater. What is a crater again? When like something like an asteroid or something makes a dent in the earth. I think I'm right, whatever, who cares. But yeah, we just got here. We have one water bottle to ration, so I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the top. Okay, disclaimer. Not even halfway. I don't even think we're halfway up there. Are we? No. Oh my god, look at that. But disclaimer if you're looking to hike Coco Crater Trail, bring a lot of water because it's very, very, very steep and there's still a lot of ways to go. But the scenery is so pretty up here. Look at this. And we're not even halfway up the mountain yet. Not mountain, crater. So, yeah. So, we made it to the top. This looks so nice. Look at this. Literally, God's creation is magnificent. Magnificent. Took us about 45 minutes to get up here. This scraper is going to be going down. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we hiked this entire trail. It's about, like I said, two miles round trip. So come to Coco Crater Trail.
other side. You can barely hear me because we just made our way to the other side of the laptop. And this is gorgeous. Look at this, bruh. Not gonna lie, going down is 10 times scarier than going up. Especially if you're scared of heights. It's not that bad. This is how far we came already. That's where we got to go. This is not a fairy tale. I already know how you like it. Take you to the morning. Get you on the Don't make me get you back to the hood. Don't make me out like a hug. I know. Cycle, laundry mat with a temper, this is a vicious cycle. Feel like reality, bitches go wherever I go. Go again. It just buzzed the front gate. I thank God you can. Okay, quick change. We're currently heading to brunch. Um, it's around 11 30. We're a little late for our reservation, but let me give you a quick outfit of the day. Oh, this. Alright, just point the camera at me. Okay, get the whole outfit. Okay, so <laughs> I'm wearing these platform sandals from Shein, this dress from ASOS, I have a black bikini underneath, and then I got these glasses from um, Zenny Optical, they're prescription sunglasses, so yeah, thank you! But yeah, we're going to brunch and we're late, so let's hurry up! <laughs> just left Herringbone. Well, not just left. We left about an hour ago. And then drove over to... I don't even know what base this is. Some base that has... You guys know all your waivers signed, like yeah? Yeah, we, yeah, we do. But yeah, we're currently at the Oahu Boat Cruises. We're going to the... We have the days planned to a T. To a T. So we're about to go on this dance cruise from 2 to 4 and hopefully it's fun. Yes. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. We'll let you guys know once it's okay to stand up and exit the boat. Hey guys! <laughs> okay, so it's about oof, maybe six or seven hours later after the boat party ended around four o'clock and it's now 11 o'clock. We came back, knocked, tried to take a quick nap and then um, go to dinner, but again, we missed dinner because I was tired. So we're just gonna go grab something real quick and then head out for the night. Um, there's this place called District, I believe, that we're gonna go to. And I also saw one of my friends from Hampton on the boat cruise. It was so weird. She's like stationed out here. So um, she gave us like recommendations of places to go. 
tonight as well but let me show you guys what i'm wearing real quick because i'm about to head out and i'm the one that's holding us up so uh, i'm just gonna wear this corset top that i got from amazon i'm wearing these i mean this um skirt from shein um i showed it in my last haul and then my little grandma slippers because i'm not putting no heels on tonight that's not the vibe that's not the vibe so so yeah, we're about to go head out to get some food and then go out to the club or something. I probably won't even pick this camera up. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> so I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning, good morning. It is Hawaii day three, day three. I'm just sitting on the balcony. It's only six o'clock in the morning again, but I'm up. Um, it's already like bustling, literally bustling here already. Like the street is already not packed but there's already people out people at the beach this is cheesecake factory this is jimmy choo it's a keith store kith apple fendi this whole street is just like luxury stores it's beautiful um yeah last night like i said we just went to district nightclub um and grabbed some quick food before we went there um we waited in line for about an hour it was packed it was packed um and the funny thing is we didn't even get in but I, we didn't really care because <laughs> we were tired anyways so we were like oh well we tried our best and we came back and we slept but um today i'm excited because it's just like a really chill day well we still have a lot of things to do but it's really just chill things we're gonna go out to brunch first at this place called um hula grill i think it's called it's about five minute walk from the uh, hotel we're staying at right now and then we're gonna go to the mall there's this like huge mall here called the ala mohana center it's about to go there next because i really want to go to zara because i haven't been there in a while um and i heard i heard hawaii has no tax or just less tax than the states so we'll see when i get there and then after that we're gonna venture out to the north shore when we went on the hike yesterday at Coco Crater Trail, this like native Hawaiian lady was talking to us and she was like, have you guys, like where are you guys from, yada yada yada, have you guys been out to like the different beaches here? We were like, we just went to Waikiki Beach and she was like, no, you have to make your way to the North Shore um, and like look at like the restaurants they have there. They have like a shaved ice place there. I forgot what it was called, but I'm going to insert it in the video later. That's what we have going on today um, and then we're coming back later to go to a rooftop bar tonight. So yeah i'm excited about to get dressed um to go to brunch so i'll pick this camera up in a little bit try it it looks authentic thank you yeah. we haven't tried any authentic hawaiian cuisine yet so we just got the hula grill and um i'm excited to try some of these dishes because they're authentic um hawaiian cuisine they have poke bao buns um acai bowls baja fish tacos it's really not hawaiian well it might be i don't know Ooh, these lashes are irritating me now but i think i want to get the lump crab and spinach bao bun benedict that sounds good this um this restaurant is so pretty it's right on the beach literally right on the beach so that's beautiful the lighting is going in and out but i'm excited there's so many people out already yeah we can get one to split this um, hula pie looks delicious. It's chocolate, cookie, crust, macadamia nut, ice cream at nine o'clock in the morning. Nuts and whipped cream. I think I'm gonna get the bao bun benedict. Or a baja fish tacos, I don't know. Okay, so our food came in and it looks delicious. So I got the loco moco. Um, in it is braised short rib. There's some Portuguese sausage. I got eggs, fried rice, some fried onions at the top, and then we got the lump spinach um, crab benedict. So this is like the crab thingy. And then what is this? Potatoes? 
Yes. <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> and <laughs> grape tomatoes. And then what's the purple thing? Um, Those potatoes too? Okay, so review now that we've almost finished our food. Are you still eating? Yeah. <laughs> review now that we finished. Oh, your crab cake? No, I'm good. Thank you. But now that we finished our food almost. This food is fantastic. So if you're, <laughs> don't laugh at me. If you're coming to Hawaii, you need to come to Hula Grill. Beautiful views. Decent price food, this is like $20 each. Nice drinks. They open at 7 a.m. I think they stay open all the way until like 11, for like dinner, so. 10 out of 10. Yeah, go ahead. I want to hear your first impression. Where do I even start? I know. I'm guessing. Bruh. Which is right. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> How's it taste? I, I need your first impression. It's literally ice cream. It's like caramel cake. <laughs> but we're calling it a whole life. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty. We just pull up to the Ala Mohana Center. This is beautiful. This is just like a small part of the mall. We really only came here for Zara, like I said. We're both shopaholics. And we came here for the Zara, which is right there. But they have so many different stores. We just left out of Nordstrom. They have Uniqlo here too. Um, oh wow, the Zara is two floors. Yay. But is there any other place you want to go? No. No? We can take the uni, uni blah blah blah. Uni glow? <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> we can check that out too, but yeah, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Hit it with the Billy Rock. This is not a Billy Rock. Huh? Um, that's cute. Nope. No, it's basic. And I thought I was a shopaholic. No, you're the shopaholic. <laughs> this is nice. Look at this. You like this? No, I'm not getting there. Why? It's not $90 nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said, you said there's no tax, right? I think the tax is a little less. But this oh, Hawaiian Zara is definitely less. giving. <laughs> Whatever. This Hawaiian Zara is definitely giving. And this is just the men's section. We just walked in here. But I like it. The jacket is it. It's cute. Oh, look at that Dior store. Wow. Interesting. But the damage is done. And Zara, I'm, I'm satisfied with my purchases. But this place is beautiful. So pretty. Look at her your cafe. So nice. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me this cloud. All in the sky, ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often. So, we just made it to the North Shore. It is absolutely beautiful out here. So stunning. Like, I think Hawaii has one of, well, I haven't been a lot of places, but since what I've seen, Hawaii has one of the best landscapes ever. Like, the mountains, the trees, it's so lush and green out here. Like, Take a look, take a look, take a look. It's beautiful. And this is like the mountains. And then up there, it's even nice. We even saw like evergreen trees when we were coming over here. So, yeah. So yeah, this is wild. This is it. Stunning, 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 stunning. I think there's also like a cliff over here. He'll be jumping off and into the water. It won't be me though, but you know, more power to ya. It's a good plan.
but the water is so clear. I can't wait to get in. Oh my God. But yeah, look at these views. These views are magnificent. Look at that. Yes, absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And the thing about Hawaii is that it's literally raining right now. I don't know if you guys can see it on like my screen, but it's raining. Slightly. It'll like be sun showers for like five minutes and then stop. So it's burning air, so we're about to get in the water. I think I butchered the name, but like I said, I'm gonna put all the names on the screen because I'm probably butchering the names. But um, a local we met yesterday on the trail told us um, to come like two miles from the North Shore because there's so many like authentic food trucks around here. Um, oh my God, the line is so long. She told us to go to Giovanni's Shrimp Truck um, and they have like the best shrimp apparently in Hawaii. And then a shaved ice place. It's called like Mata, Mata Suma, I think it's, that's what it's called. Again, I'm butchering the name, but you know. I'll put it on the screen. Oh my God, look at this McDonald's. It looks so old. Look at this McDonald's. I don't know if you guys can see it up there, but it looks so cute. But yeah, this is the food truck area that we're about to visit. It's so nice over here, oh my God. It's cute. Oh my god, there's handcrafted soda, the shrimp truck right there, the fruit shack. Ooh, I like it, I like it. There you go, oh lord. Yep, this is what it looks like. This is Giovanni's shrimp truck. I'm about to devour this. Devour. If you know anything about me, Shrimp is my absolute favorite food, so I'm in heaven right now. Would you recommend? Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah, Tim. The line moves pretty fast, too. We're only in line for like 10 minutes. But if you come here, it's cash only. So all these food trucks, and Hawaii in general, a lot of the places are just like cash only. I don't know why, but whatever. But yeah, come to Giovanni's. It's delicious. Your girl is full. Full. I'm so full after eating that shrimp. It was so good. Oh my god. But we're just walking back to the car. I can never get over this view. Look at this. Bruh. Oh my goodness. It's so gorgeous. Hawaii is literally so gorgeous and just peaceful and tranquil and a good escape if you're looking for one. But anyway, we're about to go back over to um, our hotel. Um, by Waikiki Beach, it's about an hour from here because we have a reservation tonight for um, like a rooftop bar. Um, it's called Sky Waikiki. I was watching another vlogger's vlog and she went there and I was like, we gotta go, we gotta go to here. Um, and we're not gonna miss our reservation tonight. We've missed every single last reservation <laughs> for dinner because we've been tired. But today we're gonna make this reservation because we can't miss it again. All right, he's bringing the car to me because I'm taking forever. All right, see you guys a little bit later. That's good. Two hours later. Let me lay a great time on you. Don't hesitate, no, don't you. Just say you will. Chill, 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 chill. I wanna all night. 
I wanna all night. Say it. I wanna all night. Hello, stranger. It is Hawaii day four. Woke up super early this morning again. Um, we are currently out at um, Lil Ua Bakery. This is like a breakfast spot I saw on TikTok once again. Um, that's right next to our hotel um, in the International Marketplace. Uh, apparently they have a lot of like traditional Hawaiian dishes too. So I'm excited to eat that. Um, and then after we go to breakfast, we're going back up to like closer to the North Shore, like an hour away from Honolulu. Um, we're going to the Polynesian Cultural Center. I saw a lot of good things about this place, um, like online and stuff, like places you have to visit when you come to Hawaii. So apparently it's like different activities um, that show the history of like Hawaiian islands and stuff like that. And like traditional like cultural things. I'll see when I get there really. I don't really know how to explain it. And then there's gonna be like a traditional luau at the end. I feel like we have to do a luau. We haven't saw anything like that since we've been here. So I'm excited for today. I'm sad that <laughs> it's our second to last day out here because that means I gotta get back to the real world. So <sighs> but let me enjoy our last two days out here. We don't leave tomorrow until like 8 p.m. So basically we have two full days here still. And then get back to uh, North Carolina Wednesday afternoon. Because again, it's a 12 hour flight. So, yep. Fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to the paycheck, running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me. Never going back, never going back. They never take me. I fed enough of petty dudes. I put enough of shitty news. I had a thing for dirty shoes since I was 10. Love dirty men are like, ooh, better day than cash today. Ooh, I just take it day by day. Just got to the Polynesian Cultural Center. This place is so cute. There's like, um, when you first walk in, before you actually get to like the islands where you can do like activities like canoeing and like kayaking and stuff, there's like a marketplace right when you walk in just selling like food. They have like clothing vendors, jewelry, and it's just, just like celebrating the different islands of like Polynesia and stuff. Um, I think it's cute. Super, super cute. They have like traditional clothing. I'm like looking around. Um, and like restaurants and stuff, I mean, walk in this packed and it just opened about 15 minutes ago. Super cute. Like, look at all this. It's gorgeous. Oh, they have so much jade. Wow. Sheesh. Beautiful. You like this? Every single gym you can think of, they have out here. Not longer chains. Yeah, we can do it. Let's get some shaved ice. You want passion? Yes. I don't want to get a big pop. They call it another flavor. That's fine. Finally got the world famous shaved ice. 
that everybody's been talking about. Um, it's literally just an icy. <laughs> we put passion fruit on it, but they have all these different flavors here. They have Hawaii, blue Hawaii, cherry, coconut, guava, lime, mango, all these different things. About to eat this and then head into the cultural center. So yeah, we got the Gateway Buffet package where we get um, a tour of the six island villages, we get various canoe rides, we get the Hawaii and Temple Visitor Center tour, we get the buffet of the authentic Polynesian food um, around 4.30 and then they have like a luau at the end. So it encompasses everything. I feel like I have to get one of these um, these crowns, correct? Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, I have to for the culture. I have to get. What are these called? Lays? Lays. Alright, we're no longer lost. We're about to get a map. But <laughs> this is the entire Polynesian Culture Center. When we first walked in, it was the marketplace. This is where you were at first and the buffet as well and this is where they're gonna have the the luau show later and then the different islands polynesian islands are samoa can't pronounce that fiji hawaii tahiti tonga yeah this is beautiful i'm excited i'm so excited and slight pit stop into the gift shop this place is gonna eat all my money Ugh. this is cute i feel like i need one of these for my apartment <laughs> right? No, you don't. Yes, I do. <sighs> Whatever. Huh? No, I don't need that. <laughs> these are beautiful. Look at these paintings, though. Oh my goodness. I gotta get at least um some more jewelry. Just because. Okay, now after all our pit stops, let's actually finally make our way into the island. <laughs> Most definitely want to get started with the canoe tour. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I was saying a little earlier that um, out of all the places I've been, like traveling, even though I haven't been too many places yet, I think Hawaiian like landscape is the most beautiful like that I've ever seen. It's so like lush and green. I feel like the air is even like even more fresh out here. Like everyone just seems so nice and I don't know. It's just I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave. I will be your tour guide, also known as your main engine. Just to let you guys know the name of my canoe is the Titanic 2.2. What? Nothing to worry about. If anything goes wrong, please everyone take a look to your left. Uh -huh. Take a look to your right. Those are your two emergency exits. <laughs> if some of you guys don't know how to swim, please take a look underneath your seat. Yes, nothing. Nothing. Get it, girl. Look at All right, everyone, what about run off of load? For our friends who are Thank you. Every island is having a show right now, so we're currently going to the Tahiti show. I hear it, but like, not really. Welcome to the island of Tahiti. Oh, is it two o'clock? I think so.
say Yao Rana. Yao Rana. So Yao Rana is our greeting in Tahiti and also mean you may live forever or you may have a long life. So welcome to our kitchen. In Tahiti kitchen is called Fari Tutu, Fari for house and Tutu for chef. And today we're going to show you how we bake some coconut bread using the underground oven. Okay, so the underground oven is also called in Tahiti Ahi Ma'a, Ahi for hot and Ma'a for food. So as you can see, there are lava rocks. Now there are two reasons why we use lava rocks. Do you guys have any idea? All right, trying the traditional coconut bread. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it basically just tastes like bread with a hint of coconut in it. All right, <laughs> it's good though. Yeah, it's good. It tastes like um, Hawaiian rolls. How is it? Right? Yeah, we're straight. Yeah, it's all right. All right, next island. Here we go. Okay, so now we're in the island of Tonga. We're about to go spear throwing. I'm about to watch this group in front of us go. They relied on the stars, the moon, and the sun to help them navigate through open seas in search for new land. Now, during this open sea voyaging, a lot of hardships and challenges were experienced, as depicted here by men as they dance a vaka malolo or sitting hand dance. Bossa! Hello guys, we actually just finished, well we only went to Fiji, Tahiti, we're gonna go back to Samoa but we're now we're just chilling in the um, the marketplace, you just got a cold coconut to drink, but they have like pineapples over there with smoothies in it, ice cream place right there, um, in a minute, we're about to just take a tram around the island of Laai, I think that's what it's called, to see like the university that's nearby. Um, there's also like a temple or something that we can look at. We got the buffet package. <laughs> so there's like a buffet um, that we're waiting on that starts at like 4.30, but I don't know if you can tell by the way I look, but I'm exhausted. So tired. This has been such a long vacation. Well needed though, right? We needed we need this. <laughs> yeah, for real. Really did. But it's just very relaxing here. It's just a sense of calm in Hawaii. Aloha! One, two, three. Aloha! Perfect! Aloha. So my name is Sister Gertrude and I am from Laramie, Wyoming. Has anyone been to Wyoming before? Oh. No? That's okay. I wouldn't recommend going during the winter time. It gets really cold there. But this is my friend. I'm Sister Palmer. I'm just from people go men and women whose influence will be felt for good towards the establishment of peace internationally. And one of the unique majors offered at Brigham Young University of Hawaii is the intercultural peace building major. His major helps students learn how to resolve conflicts within themselves and establish peace in governments and their future careers, really helping them fulfill David on the dream. And we've had thousands of students earn their degrees from this wonderful university. And our hope is that graduates will be in Hawaii. Laie was a kukuhonua, a place of refuge or city of refuge. So during times of war or conflict, someone struck a Alrighty, so we just got off the tour bus basically for the town of Lai, where we are right now. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but this area is just ugh, it's so beautiful. Literally, Hawaii is so beautiful. It makes no sense. But it's really cool because this town is basically like it was founded for refugees at first. Um, like they were visiting at first. But this town is super, super, super religious. They were telling us like everyone goes to this temple. 
that we stopped at. I don't know if you guys can see that white building in the distance. But everyone in this town goes to this temple. Um, there's no, there's not a single bar in this town. They don't sell alcohol, none of that. Um, there's no like shopping on Sundays. Everything is closed on Sundays to reverence like the Sabbath or whatever. And all the money that they make from the Polynesian Cultural Center um, is used to educate um, the um, kids that go to Brigham Young University or something like that. So this whole town is just so peaceful. <laughs> and I've been saying that this whole trip, like Hawaii is just so like peaceful. If you're looking for like a trip where you just like relax and it's like a, just a sense of like peace, Hawaii is the place to be because I've just forgotten about all my worries <laughs> since I've been on this trip. Like I, I don't want to go home. I really don't want to go home because it's just so beautiful. So lush. Like, but anyway, we're about to go back to the cultural center because um, we bought the buffet package at 4.30 and I'm really excited for that because I'm hungry. Meal. Wow. Look at all this food that they have here. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is we have a salad bar, rice, potatoes, noodles, veggies, seafood, chicken. This is huge. Entertainment. <laughs> 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 to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you everything that I have on my plate right now. I have some pineapple fried rice, some walnut shrimp. <laughs> with garlic aioli, I have poke shrimp, I have some pork, I have some mango habanero wings, I have some chicken that they said was Hawaiian, I'm so confused, but okay. Then I have some shumai too, but I'm about to dig it, I'm starving. By the sounds of your applause, it's been a wonderful day, I certainly hope, and that you've made lots of memories with your ohana and your family, and by now, you should be feeling more... Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <sighs> it's the last day in Hawaii. Um, the video ended abruptly last night because they didn't allow us to do any, bring any phones or cameras into the, um, the, the show last night at the Polynesian Cultural Center, but it was beautiful. Basically, they had performances from each of the Polynesian cultures. Um, so they had like a traditional like Fiji dance, um, Tahiti, Samoa, like it was just really, really nice to learn about the different cultures. But it's our last day out here. Um, our flight doesn't leave until around eight o'clock, but I'll probably wrap up the vlog here to so just enjoy my last day in Hawaii. Um, we kind of just want to go shopping on this trip. Um, there's so many different stores down here, like all the way down. I don't know if you guys can see. Like stores go all the way down, so you just want to go shopping. Maybe hit the beach for a second. I don't know what else we're gonna do, but just gonna enjoy it and then head back to the airport <laughs> at like six. Drop off our convertible. And yeah, but this was a beautiful, 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 beautiful vacation. I enjoyed myself so much out here. Um, if you guys have a chance, I feel like you should come to Hawaii if you want just some peace, tranquility, and relaxation. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye. <laughs>